Zeda, not the type to shy away from controversy, driving his knee into the chin of Jean Rick. Oh my goodness, look at Jean Rick, he's still tapped. I re- oh man, just seeing him get worked over on those ribs. I really want to find out who attacked Jean Rick backstage. Jean Rick is an awesome competitor pulling a victory over Niger Figer on the last episode, but this is not the kind of way I wanted Jean Rick to be displayed. He's injured, he's not a hundred percent. That's the thing about Jean Rick, he has such impressive work rates that he competes even when he's injured. But Jean Rick showing some fight. Oh, look at that. The ribs still affecting him. Jean Rick was pulling some, some heat. And then these ribs just started to burn. Burn him to the ground. Look at Zeda putting his heel into the ribs of Jean Rick. These little things is what makes Zeda so dangerous. A monster with a mind. You've heard of meatheads before. People who are muscular but cannot think. Just a two count. Zeda is very far from that. Look at Zeda. Look at the intimidating size of Zeda. Just imagine you're with your girlfriend and Zeda comes to you and says, That girl is mine now. In his little galactic voice. Are you really going to say no? Are you really going to get your... Your punk behind beaten up just to defend your girlfriend? That's what I thought. Nobody's gonna mess around with Zeda. This guy has tremendous potential to be number one. Look at that camel clutch. Riding Jean Rick like a camel. Oh my goodness. Just imagine how much, how excruciating the pain must be. How much more of this can Jean Rick take? Look at the, the, the torque. And and Jean Rick has had to tap out, ladies and gentlemen. He needs some medical attention. He he should not have agreed to this match, ladies and gentlemen. Look at this. Zeta showing no mercy. Oh my goodness. Look at that. I am Zeta. I come from a long lost galaxy. And I am the galactic champion. How fitting of me to represent the galaxy as both your master, your savior, and your victory world wrestling galactic champion. My dominance will pursue. Yo, man, this party is boring as hell. Yo, what you guys need is booty tea. Booty tea? What the hell is that? Booty tea, man. It's the sickest beverage out there, quenched by only the finest of batoks. Yo man, this party is bumping. You can thank Booty Tea. Booty Tea, a beverage quenched only with the finest of batoks. Making a Victory Road Wrestling debut, LSD. She is tough. Folks, this is gonna be a three-way match. Whoever wins this match is gonna be the number one contender for the galactic title. The second participant into this match is the press, a former journalist turned professional wrestler. The press is very controversial because of his means to get the scoop and he's gonna hope on this affair to get the scoop once again. Depressed, making his debut. Have you ever met a woman who is so positive? That is the kind of woman that this woman is like Cindy Citrus, very positive and outgoing. She does not look at the negative side of life, and that can provide that can prove to be beneficial. In this bout, ladies and gentlemen, as I mentioned earlier, the winner of this match is going to have a shot at the Galactic title on the next episode. And here we go, ladies and gentlemen. And I'm not surprised by this, the two ladies teaming up on the press, Cindy Citrus and Elastin, 
with a strange alliance. Nice body slam by Cindy Citras, and you see Elastine driving her batons into the chest of the press. And if the press is into first sitting, he must be enjoying this. Another double team. Nicely done. A submission by Cindy Citras as Elastine watches on. Elastine told her, you better let go of that submission. Ladies and gentlemen, there is only one way to win. There's only one winner. A hip toss by Cindy Citras. Elastine going for the cover. And Cindy Citras is not having any of that. I really feel sorry for the press as he's being double teamed by these two ladies. The press is not the submissive kind. In case you are wondering, my goodness, a crucifix power bomb like it's nothing by Elastine. The press really needs to get out of there, get out of harm's way. My goodness, these ladies are just having their way with him. The press going for the cover out of desperation, and Elastine getting involved. Fox has been a full out investigation after what I believe Zeta did to Jean Rick remember Jean Rick was assaulted backstage and we're going to investigate find out who was involved in that assault if Zeta was involved there will be penalties I do not want my champions defending their title in such manners and Zeta is gonna face one of these participants. And you can see the alliance between Elastine and Cindy Citra, Citrus de decapitating because they want to win. There's only one fall to the finish. And now that the press has been taken out of the ring, it's gonna be down to these two ladies. Cindy Citrus with the yellow attire, Elastine with the zebra-like attire, these two exchanging blows, some blows by Elastine, and then she delivers a back suplex. This is Victory Road Wrestling. If you have not already, please tell your friends about it. Give us some constructive criticism, some positive feedback. It's more than welcome here, as we see two of the most attractive ladies in the galaxy facing off. To hopefully get an opportunity at the galactic title what a show it has been ladies and gentlemen you are only gonna get action like this in victory road wrestling a submission by cindy citras and she applies another submission But Elastine, I remember we mentioned how tough Elastine is managing to get up. But Cindy Citrus is not letting go of those submissions. Working on the leg of Elastine. The momentum shifting in Elastine's favor into a back suplex. Folks, we still have a great show ahead of you. Faro Farasi will make an appearance, appearance, excuse me. I'm just being flustered by the beauty of these ladies. Elastine at the top of the rope. But Cindy Citras kicking Elastine right outside of the ring. Goodness gracious. Imagine how much pain Elastine's spine is in at this current moment. Zeta has to be watching on in anticipation because he's going to have to face off the winner of this bout. A nice drop kick by Cindy Citrus. And I'm still trying to get over the fact that we have a female representing this company. Cindy Citrus only acquiring a two-car. I, I, I don't mind if, if women like Elastine or Cindy Citrus get the galactic title, but the Zimbabwean title is on a whole nother level, ladies and gentlemen. That proves that you're the best in this company, a cover by Elastine. And we have Faro Farasi representing this company. 
she's gonna oh watch out the press behind us she's gonna speak about her title win and i'm very interested to see what Faro Faras is going to say, I'm still recovering from the shock that occurred in the last episode. And the press looking to steal a victory, but he's unsuccessful in that attempt. The press has had time to relax a little bit, rest. And you see the press with absolutely no mercy with the vertical suplex outside of the ring. You cannot show mercy in this type of bout the press now. Exposing that steel. Fox, that steel has got no give. Once your body penetrates onto that steel, you're gonna be in a lot of pain and neck breaker by the press. Going for the cover. Only acquiring a two count, those storms to the ribs of Cindy Citrus by the press. I could easily see the press becoming. The next galactic champion. He just needs to call through Cindy Citrus, and that's not gonna be an easy attempt. Cindy Citrus on top of that exposed steel. What's she gonna do here? A drop kick, a missile drop kick to be specific. Now a submission. Cindy Citrus has been applying these submissions, and she's getting better and better as time goes on. Is she gonna apply a submission to victory? No. The press's legs are just too thick for her to keep that submission locked in. Cindy Citrus throwing the press into that exposed steel. And she's going to take full advantage with that victory roll. And that victory roll has acquired Cindy Citrus with a victory. Congratulations to Cindy Citrus. She's going to take on Zeta on the next episode for the Galactic title. Cindy Citrus and Elastin were working together, but that partnership ended. That Irish whip onto the exposed steel, a steel that the press exposed. Cindy Citrus is the new number one contender, ladies and gentlemen. Then she must be feeling also positive. Congratulations to Cindy Citrus. I go by the name Barricade, and to me it's an insult when I see someone across the ring from me because it tells me that they think there's a possibility that they could defeat me. You guys have seen monsters dominate, but you've never seen a monster quite like Barricade. Ladies and gentlemen, at this time I would like to introduce to you to a Zimbabwean all state athlete um, his expertise is soccer rugby and field hockey he has won three gold medals for our country in the olympics and he will be joining the victory road racing roster uh, it is a privilege for me to introduce all of you to ontel Uh, th thank you very much, uh, Mr. King. Uh, it's an honor um, to be in your company, uh, Victory Road Wrestling, the greatest um, company out there. Uh, and um, it, it just speaks to my athletic um, credentials to, to say that I'm here on the roster. Yeah, I, I've um, accomplished many great feats in other uh, areas of sports, but um, if there's one industry that I, I need to dominate, that's um, that's professional wrestling, and uh, I, I plan to do that. And uh, I just want to thank my uh, sponsor, uh, Sorter Beverage. Um, it's the best beverage out there. Uh, it's full of flavor, and it's <laughs> Shine. He is the Slovakian legend representing his motherland, Slovakia. 